A comment on my recent video about the Royal Bermuda Regiment's use of the Mini-14 sparked my interest. It noted that Malta, another small island military, uses the AK. I wasn't aware of this, so I decided to do some research. Malta's military, known as the Armed Forces of Malta, or AFM, is roughly the size of a brigade. In recent years, the Armed Forces of Malta have had a strength of between 1,600 and 1,800 personnel, making up three battalions, a maritime squadron and an air wing. Malta is a neutral nation, and as such, the AFM's roles include territorial defence, internal security, and border control. In terms of small arms, this is where things get interesting. Malta gained independence from the UK in 1964, and became a republic in 1974. The AFM was founded in 1970, and with the former link to the UK, much of the AFM's initial equipment was of British origin, and the L1A1 self-loading rifle was used as the AFM's service rifle for many years. It appears to have been augmented in the late 70s and early 80s with AKs. The FN file-derived L1A1 is still used as the AFM's standard drill and parade rifle. The AFM celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2020 and shared this timeline of their uniform and equipment in their service magazine, On Parade. It gives us an idea of how their small arms and equipment changed over time. We can see that the AKs have been in service since at least the 80s. The AFM's website lists their small arms, with personnel being armed with Beretta 92s, a variety of HK MP5s, and what they describe as the AK-47 variant. The site lists the rifles as being manufactured by Russia, Romania, China and East Germany. These rifles are all chambered in the 7.62 by 39mm cartridge. Where the first AK pattern rifles used by Malta came from is unclear, although one source suggests the German and Romanian rifles were bought secondhand in the 1990s. From a survey of images and video shared by the AFM in recent years, it appears that the East German MPI KMS, Romanian PMMD63, and Chinese Type 56-2 are in service. The origins of the Chinese rifles are easy to trace back to a 2003 donation of small arms and light weapons made by the People's Republic of China. An agreement was signed with China in June 2001, and as part of this, a donation of 150,000 Maltese lira worth of weapons was agreed. By 2003, however, it was reported by the Times of Malta that this had increased to 500,000 Maltese lira worth of weapons. This included Type 56 rifles, Type 80 general purpose machine guns, and RPG-7 clones. The AFM's acting commander, Colonel Carmel Vassilo, described the donation as a dream come true. It reportedly allowed the entire AFM to be armed with a single type of service rifle for the first time. Over the last 10 years, there have been a number of photos and videos released showing AKs which have been upgraded with some aftermarket modifications. The mods appear to predominantly be sourced from Fab Defence, with their CAA polymer buttstock, and the VFR AK rail forend, with a rail which extends over the top of the receiver cover. This provides the bare bones AKs with some modularity. How widespread the modified AKs are within multi-service is unknown, but in officially released imagery, the bare bones AKs are more prevalent. In recent years, Malta have stood up some quick reaction forces, and it appears from videos and images shared that these elements have been equipped not with AKs, but new SIG MCX rifles. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found that interesting. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to check out some of our earlier videos. You can find those all listed on our website at armorersbench.com. Please do share the videos with friends and let others know about the channel. That really helps us. And if you enjoy the videos, please do consider supporting us via Patreon. Supporters get early access to all of our videos, as well as some tangible perks, including postcards, stickers, and the Tab Advanced Combat Rifle Coloring Book featuring the G11. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.